Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic in our mini-series is the God who exaggerates efforts. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Exodus chapter 17 and verse 13. So Joshua overwhelmed and defeated Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. Before I talk about the seventh life lesson from the battle of Israel with the Amalekites, let me give a bit of contextual background. Israel had left Egypt after a long period of servitude and were journeying through the wilderness to the land that God had prepared for them. They were unsettled, certainly not trained or prepared for war. They were just wanderers, really. Then suddenly a nation, an independent nation, who had been settled for as long as possible, trained for war with a fully armed and well-kitted army, decides to go against Israel. Remember, the children of Israel were really not ready for war. They were unsettled travelers, traveling to a destination they weren't sure when they would arrive. The Amalekites were definitely at an advantage in the natural. The odds were against Israel. Yet, look at how the battle turned out. The Bible says in our scripture that Joshua overwhelmed and defeated Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. Our seventh lesson is this. If you will fight in accordance with the spiritual rules of engagement in any facet of your life, God will exaggerate your results. I have experienced this dimension of God and so I tell you with all sincerity, we serve a God who is able to make a disadvantaged group of untrained men overwhelm a well-kitted and trained army. Israel demonstrated that their reliance was not on the arm of flesh. By standing on that hill, doing all they could to raise Moses' arms, the Israelites were showing that their trust for victory was in the Lord. Take the battle on the hill seriously in your academics. Take the battle on the hill seriously in your business. Take the battle on the hill seriously in your ministry, in your career. Take the battle on the hill seriously and watch God exaggerate your results. What actually happens is that he takes over and does the fighting, but the world sees you and thinks the results are yours when they are really God's. It is for this reason that those who are wise are quick to return the glory to God for the victories they enjoy in life. I pray for you that as you trust more, God will cause your results to look exaggerated, so exaggerated that the world will give glory to him for your life. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word today. Lord, today we entrust every aspect of our lives into your hand. We trust you with our businesses, our careers, our children, our spouses, our parents, our ministries, everything. As you take over, we thank you for victories we couldn't have won on our own. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.